say, the world say, if you want money, save money. Put your money in account. Yeah. Have your stuff together. Get your 401k plan. If you, but God said, the more money you want, you got to give. Yeah. I need you to understand that because right now there are promises that are over your life. Yeah. But the promises, I want to tell you, are on hold until you put something in the ground. The seed yeah. that leaves your hand don't leave your life. It just goes into the future and it multiplies. Remember now, the, the, the promise is that I'm going to pray to Father. He said anything you ask in my name, I'll do it. That's in John 14. Yeah. That the Father may be glorified. But the, the, the principle is, if you love me, keep my commandments. Yeah. See, 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 th there's something you got to do. And a lot of us, we just want the blessing of God to run us down. And we want God to move in our life. But you don't want to do nothing. Do you understand that before a baby receives breath, he, it is scientifically proven that they don't breathe in first. They breathe out. Wow. You missed it. Wow. That before anything ever comes in, wow. something got to go out. I want to talk to you today because God is getting ready to move in your life in a powerful way. And in a couple of minutes, I'm going to give you an instruction that's going to change the course of your life. But I need you to understand that the promise of God is on you. Yes. And if the promise of God, I believe it's a man named Donald Lawrence wrote a song saying, the blessing is on you. And I, I, I need you to understand there's a blessing on your life. But you can't give up. You can't throw in the towel. You need people around you that's going to take push. Yeah. You need to put a praise in. You need to shout. You need to give him glory. You need to give him honor. Because something good about to happen in your life. Keep the, talk, talk to the people. Encourage them. And let them know that they, they can't give up now. Which it, brings us to our next phase, Prophet. That at the beginning, we let you know that whenever there is a promise from God. Yeah. The promise does not come without a principle. Glory. For example, everybody loves to quote Philippians 4.19, but my God shall supply. Yeah, we love that scripture. That's all your needs scripture. according to his riches and glory scripture. through Christ Jesus. Yeah. That's the promise. Yeah. But if you bag up to Philippians 4.17, you uh -huh. will find the principle. Yeah. Well, Paul says, not that I desire a gift, but that you may have fruit your to account. abound to your account. Now, he used a banking term. Here's what it means. Glory. That if you are not taking care of the man of God, or if you are not giving, if you have not put any seed in the ground, that when you get on your knees and pray, that sometimes your account comes back insufficient funds because you have not put anything in the ground. They, they didn't hear what you just said. I said again, that whenever you get on your knees and pray and you have not put any seed in the ground, sometimes your account comes back insufficient funds because you have not put anything into it. I, I, I need to tell y'all something. Now, now, you didn't have enough insufficient funds in the natural. You sure don't need none in the spirit. You done had enough uh, neg negatives in the natural. You don't need none in the spirit. So I need you to do me a favor. Because I, 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 you, you need fruit in your account. And right here, I have a whole bunch of prayer requests. And in a minute, I'm going to pray over them. I'm, I'm, I'm going to speak a word over their life. Now, there's a number on the screen. And uh, uh, we're going to pray over these prayer requests in a minute. In a minute. But I want you to hear me. Yes.